Sean McDermott, when he became head coach of the Buffalo Bills, he had no experience head coaching. This was his first head coaching stint. So what do you do when you want to have success being a head coach? You want to have success anywhere, right? And you're new to this and you need to bring a team with you. What do you do? Well, McDermott surrounded himself by veteran people, people that have been around the game for a long time. Leslie Frazier. He brought in Leslie Frazier. He brought in Rico Dennison, right? Right. Guys that have been around, have done things and so on and so forth. And, and he surrounded himself with, with good people that can, I mean, give him counsel, right? And over time, he'll learn, he'll learn to get better in his craft where he may not need certain things and certain people. So in comes Aaron Cromer. Now, for those that are not familiar with what I'm re referring to, we have brought back Mr. Aaron Cromer, which used to be a offensive line coach for the Bills not too far long ago. I'm not sure if this screenshot is going to work. If it's not working, something, I'm getting some technical difficulties, but that, I'll take that. That's fine. If it's not working, it's cool. Aaron Cromer, the now offensive line coach for the Buffalo Bills, was our offensive line coach back in 2014, 2015, or was it 2015, 2016? In that, in that realm. I think it was 2015 and 16. It was 20, 2015, 2016 because he was let go when the new regime came because Rex Ryan was our head coach then. Now, here's the good thing about Aaron Cromer. Now, if you guys remember, Aaron Cromer got let go from the Bills because what? Because apparently he put hands on somebody. He put hands on a young child and it got messy. So they said, you know what? We're not trying to deal with that. You putting your hands on you know, some young folks. Be on your way, sir. So they let him go. Right. So uh, he took a he took a bit of a hiatus a little bit last year. Uh, he found himself back with the Rams for several years and had some success with them. Now, why am I bringing up Aaron Cromer and Cromer? Excuse me. And how does that? How does that tie into a Ken Dorsey? Well, here's the deal. Sean McDermott surrounded himself with guys with veteran abilities and able to, you know what I mean, counsel him along the way. Aaron Cromer has been associated to the NFL for 21 years. He's got a lot of experience. He's called plays before. He's been an offensive coordinator for two years when he was with the freaking Chicago Bears. Head coach, Trestman, Mark Trestman. Do you guys remember Mark Trestman? You guys may not. I do because he was a CFL coach and they loved him out there. Don't forget, I'm Canadian, right? So CFL, there you go. So Tresman brings him Aaron Cromer as his offensive coordinator. First year offensive coordinator. He's got Matt Forte. He's got Michael Bush. You guys remember Michael Bush? And these guys were rolling. Rolling. And Aaron Cromer had that offense, number two offense in the league. 440 total points. So he had them rolling. He had Alshon Jeffrey that year. He had uh, um, Brandon Marshall. So he had some. He had some weapons. So you guys are probably like wondering, okay, but what what does this have to do with Ken Dorsey? Oh, it has everything to do with Ken Dorsey because Ken Dorsey can lean on his offensive line coach that used to be an offensive coordinator. So there's some experience there. So you put these two minds together, and you have good things. Now here's this is where it makes me get excited. We were a heavy passing team. Everyone, their mama knows that. And I'm not mad at it. It is, it is essential to pass the ball in this game. This game, this is what it's about. It's throwing the rock, right? Guys are throwing for 5,000 yards and it's nothing. It used to be something when you threw for 3,000 yards. When you threw for 3,000 yards, you're like, yo, that guy can throw. 3,500 yards, 3,800 yards. You're like, woo, great year. Now? Bare minimum, you cannot throw for under 3,000 yards, and I'm looking at you like a bum. You need to be throwing over 3,000 yards. Josh Allen has thrown for 4,000 yards two years in a row now. It used to be a feat to be able to get something like that. Now, <laughs> it is everywhere. So, couple this, couple this here with Aaron Cromer, former offensive coordinator, former, former freaking run, day, run game coordinator, so this makes me excited about a balanced offense. A balanced offense has me super excited because the last time Aaron Cromer was associated with the Bills, we had not only once, but twice, we were the number one rushing team in the game. 
Man, I used to, I, we used to be a very good team running the football. We never had great records. We never made the damn playoffs. But one thing's for sure, we could run the ball all the time. Maybe we could pass it, but we could run the freaking ball. Fred Jackson was running the running the heck out of the ball. Uh, Willis McGahey was running the heck out of the ball. You feel me? Like C.J. Spiller, Marshawn Lynch. You feel me? Like we've always had, look, LaShawn McCoy. We've always had guys that can run the freaking rock. Only this last couple of years, we'll be like, where's our run game at, man? What's going on? So we need to reintroduce running the freaking rock and running the football. No better situation to put yourself in by bringing back a guy that had success running the freaking football. And he's a run game coordinator. So listen, this could be a big thing for the Buffalo Bills. Now, the real question is, what do you do at running back? 